and welcome to Aquaglo training video. My name is Barbara and I am the head trainer here at Cyberedic Wellness USA. This is a very important part. Um, this is your cleaning process. When you're done with your cryo handpiece, make sure you turn it off right away and then use a alcohol wipe or something to disinfect. Remove all the gel from the cryo handpiece before it dries up and then disinfect it good. And then you want to also go right away to your handpiece and remove your treatment tip. Just take it off and then you can throw it away, which we advise. Or if you want to reuse the treatment tip, make sure you um, soak it into a very deep cleansing um, solution like hydrogen peroxide or very strong alcohol. Okay. Um, and then when you're done with that, you're going to switch to the blue seal tip that's your cleaning tip so put it on now and then you'll be ready to do your maintenance on the machines um, we strongly advise you do this in between each session this is a very important maintenance so your machine can run smoothly you really want to flush out the entire system uh, in your package you received an empty water bottle and um, we just advise you to fill it up with hot water um, if you want, you can use distilled water, you can do a mix uh, solution with 10% white vinegar, um, you could use maybe hydrogen peroxide. Um, so for this purpose, we just use hot water, place it into the center, and you want to make sure you go on each side of the machine uh, to flush out your entire system. You start by using your blue sealed tip and you place it on the handpiece. So this is sealed, no solution can come through. That's the only tip you can use for the maintenance and the cleaning of your machine. Just place the handpiece on the side. And then we're gonna start with the side of the S1 solution here that is connected to the green button. So just disconnect it, the tube, little tubing, and place it inside the bottle. And then you're gonna uh, just turn on here twice until it lights up that green button. And then we advise that you go with the flow on the side of the machine all the way to the max. So turn that little switch all the way to the plus sign. And then you can reduce here the pressure. That way the liquid will go through a little faster. And you can also go in the back of the machine and see in your waste container the solution um, being empty from all the tubing inside them. So you can see all the water going through and flushing out everything. Once the bottle is empty, you can stop and switch and do the same on the other side. So it will take a few minutes. So once the bottle is empty with that solution S1 connecting to that green button, we start the process on the other side all over again. So I went to fill up that bottle again with hot water. If you wanted to add a little bit of white vinegar in it, only like 10% in the mixture or a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, but don't fill up your whole bottle with hydrogen peroxide. Just mix a little bit with the hot water or distilled water to make it a little solution. Um, but just hot water is fine. And then disconnect again your side and the tubing, put it in there. And all you have to do is press that button twice until it lights up. Stay with the same setting, low pressure and max on the flow. And just wait until that bottle empty itself into the waste container in the back. All right, so once the bottle is empty, you've done both sides. What we advise you to do is not to put the tube back in unless you have a session right away about to start but if you're done for the end of the day what we advise is to just let those air out so they can dry that and then put the cap back on your solution and if you can we advise to store away from heat and um, any kind of sunlight um, possibly if you can if you have a fridge uh, store those solution in the fridge to avoid um, any problem. There are solutions that have a lot of acid in the, the ingredients and if you want them to last a long time and prevent any kind of uh, growing of mold or anything, 
uh, like that. We want to put those away. Okay, so um, if you are able, at least let those dry out. And go and empty your waste container and clean it. And then your cleaning process is done. <laughs>